What's going on YouTube? Geosna right here. So in today's video we're discussing some very important things about an exploit that seems to be affecting 14.7.1 and lower and it represents a major security risk for everybody who is not on 14.8. This video is brought to you by Wondershare and their software Dr. Phone System Repair which allows you to repair various iOS issues like the iOS no longer powering on and so on. You can check it out in the link below. It can fix a plethora of issues including boot loops and of course screen hangs and so on. One, and it does support iOS 14 and all devices. Check it out in the link below. So a couple of days ago, back on September 13, forced entry has been posted and it's basically by NSO Group and it's an iMessage zero-click exploit captured in the wild. This prompted Apple to release iOS 14.8 rather fast and of course it only patches two vulnerabilities, this one here by Citizen Lab and of course a WebKit vulnerability, both of which have been exploited in the wild. What this means is that they have been used against somebody who happened to have used an iPhone or an iPad or something like that in order to get data from that person. So in the case of forced entry or the Pegasus if you want to, this has been used against the phone of a Saudi activist which was infected of course with the NSO group Pegasus spyware and they managed to exfiltrate data. Apparently this exploit is basically targeting iMessage and it's actually quite good at exfiltrating data. Now if you go ahead here on Citizen Lab's website, I'm gonna link this advisory down below, you can see exactly what they found and how this exploit works. But what's important is that this is a major security risk for anybody running iOS 14.7.1 which by the way is signed at the moment and lower. So this has been patched on 14.8 which means that if you're not running 14.8 you are definitely vulnerable to this. The problem is that if you want to jailbreak your device 14.8 is a bad version to be on. In fact 14.7.1 is a bad version to be on. However if you're already on 14.7.1 going to 14.8 in order to patch those two vulnerabilities probably isn't that bad of an idea because I don't exactly think these will be used for jailbreak purposes and even if they will you're not losing much because these are big security risks anyways. So if you're running 14.7.1 you can, depending on the circumstances, jump to 14.8 with no problem because aside from these two vulnerabilities there are no other patches between the two. However if you're running anything lower like 14.7, 14.6, 14.5.1, 14.5.1, I would definitely not advise you to go to 14.8. Now as bad as the forced entry or NSO Pegasus may sound, and it actually is bad, it's a zero click so it means that you don't have to even click the links or anything that they send if they want to infect your device. But they were basically targeting high profile people like the Saudi activists or journalists or VIPs or people of interest like public people. This will probably not target you, a random person on the internet who is not famous or a known activist or known journalist and stuff like that. However, if you really are very scared that you may get infected with Pegasus, you can update the 14.8, but do know that this will result in you not having a jailbreak for a very long time. Time. For 14.4, 14.4.1, 14.5, 14.6 and so on, there are vulnerabilities released or in the pipeline to be released, so the jailbreak may not take very much from this point on. However, if you update the 14.8, you will have to wait literally months for the next jailbreak. So yeah, do you have to update the 14.8? Not necessarily. You don't have to because you're probably not going to be targeted by NSO group or by their exploits. But if you really are afraid you might get Pegasus or somebody is on to get you, you can update the 14.8, but do know that will result in you losing the chance to jailbreak anytime soon. So do know that a patch has been made available for Pegasus, it's on 14.8, and if you do update to this one, it essentially patches everything in here, the fourth entry bug, but it's very bad for jailbreak purposes. So yeah, that's basically it, thank you for watching. As I said, if you are very scared of this exploit, if you do believe that you are somebody of interest for any hacker or any hacking agency like NSO, then definitely update. If you are interested in jailbreaking and you're not a public person and stuff like that, you're not somebody of interest for these hackers, then you can probably safely stay on 14.4, 14.5 and so on. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.